everyone, it's Rachel back again with another reaction video. Today I will be continuing with Crystal Lake's new re-recorded material album, <laughs> The Voyages. It's a collection of so various songs that they've put out in the past prior to Ryo being their vocalist that they've re-recorded and put out on this new album. Uh, I've heard most all of them except two, this being one of them. I'll have one more additional song for a reaction after this one, but I'm excited to check it out. I have heard the original, so I'm stoked to see the 2020 take with Ryo on vocals and everything. This track actually features Kentaro Veron, who is the original singer of Crystal Lake, which is super cool. So he's on this track as well as obviously Ryo, who's the new singer. So let's get straight into it.
Okay, so the passage, let's discuss. So the passage, that one was awesome. That might be my favorite track so far off of this album. It was really cool that they had the previous vocalist on the track and that he is involved in the process of re-recording. I just think that's really awesome and it's probably fun for them to revisit these songs from when the band was, you know, 10 years ago, 9 years ago, whatever it is. That's probably a fun time. So super cool and his part also sounded sick. So this was amazing. The intro had a different take on it from the original kind of. It's still the same once you get to like the... Like the, you know, the chugging along, but the very beginning of the song is a little bit different, and I, I think I like this one better. It just sounds so much cleaner. Obviously, I said it in a different video, but they've evolved as musicians, as vocalists, uh, the original vocalist, obviously, as well, it gets to be involved. They have the money to, you know, do go back and redo this material that was good to begin with so i just think it's really cool they're getting a second take and doing things a little bit differently so i liked the different intro on this track from the original the guitar and also in the intro prior to the vocals kicking in is so much more mature on this track if you go back and listen to the original versus this one the guitar just sounds so much better when you are introduced to the vocals as expected it's a little bit of a different take it's more of like a softer spoken word than the original but still it sounded i was excited to see what was about to happen because i could just tell it was going to be different from the version of this track that i'm familiar with obviously that's the point it's not going to be the same but just from that intro it had the the promising intro that it, uh, it was probably going to lead to something I was going to enjoy. The intro sounded super cool. I loved the changes that they had made. So then once we get into it, the drumming prior to I Can Hardly See the Path is in another point where you can just highlight the difference between the two tracks. It just sounds so much cleaner with the kick drum. Another track with some crisp <laughs> drumming on it. This is it. The breakdowns in the end of the song and the original version are pretty sick to begin with. So these are pretty similar and I was happy with that because they're, they were already really good. Although there were some differences, of course, the whole production is different. It's better production, so it just sounds better to begin with, but they still kept the same, like, drops and whatnot in there, so I loved that. This was a fantastic job. Again, love to see the prior vocalist on here throwing down with them on the new project. That's always cool to see, so... Let me know what you're thinking, what your favorite track has been off the album. If you've listened so far, I think this is mine thus far on this album. And I have one more to check out. If you have a song that you want to be added to the list that I work off of when I'm doing request-based videos, I'll put both links in the description. There's one for metal-based videos and then one for uh, other types of genres when I figure out a day to do that. The links to that, as well as the Discord server, as always, will be in the description if you want to join and come hang out and chat. Lastly, if you're enjoying the style of music and bands that I'm posting on YouTube, I post more music-related content on my Instagram. My handle is at Wolf and the Sea. I will put it up here on the screen for you if you have any interest in giving me a follow. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.